Good afternoon. We're about half three in the afternoon and I couldn't take the surgical leave anymore. Had to get out and do something. So one of the projects we had was to finish off fencing this side. We have fenced our field over there, but we haven't done anything at the back of the house. Um, so we're just gonna do that now. Just keep the dog in because dog's been getting out so one of the first things is we have to put a fence post in right here I took a gate from a different field somewhere else in the garden and that's gonna do this space we have a little bit I'll show you in a minute of a fence and some posts over there sheep wire fence and I'm probably gonna take that straight back to the edge of the gate here we have a small little corner of land there and an old well. Um, I'll just fence that off perhaps. So, as I say, it's half tree actually because I lost the GoPro and I was only driving past um, one of the fields. I saw it on a wall, so here we go. I'll try this on time lapse. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, thought I'd give you a little update. Um, it was a bit quicker than I thought. Little hole dug there, and I put this piece of galvanized pipe in the middle, which is going to take the end of this fence post. Uh, the top here of the fence post, or of the gate, sorry, I'm just going to attach to that fence post. I think on the other side, um, I'll just try on another fence post. I'll put in fence posts because they're easy to attach a sheep wire to, but also this is temporary. Um, this will eventually be our main entrance, but I don't think we're going to use it for a year or so. It's literally just so we can start to um, put a perimeter to keep the dog in. Whilst we're here, I wanted to show you also a really cool way of putting in fence posts. We usually dig a big hole. Um, and maybe put some concrete in or we would just dig a big hole really and backfill. Over here it's very hard to dig because most of the soil here is very rocky. So there's a technique, I mean maybe you know it's new to me, but there's this really big like four or five foot iron bar, super heavy, and you just stab it into the ground and you move it like this to straddle the rocks and push them to the side. You stab it in and you keep going like this until you're down about 30, 40 centimeters. Um, then you pop in your fence post and you use a post digger or, or a mallet to push it in. So I'll show you that now in a time lapse. There is actually a big nasty rock right where I want to put the other side. Um, I want to push it here and the rock is moving my breaker bar a bit closer. Which I'm not sure will leave enough room to close the gate. So I may move. Um, I guess when you want to be precise it doesn't always work. But if you're doing a field, who cares if it's a few centimeters aside. Back to time lapse.
So we have, I just ran out of battery last night. We have the gate supported there. It seems to be closing here. I'll drill a hole for this latch to slide in. However, when I open the gate, it's a bit too heavy and it leans forward in the direction of opening. So I need to find something a bit more. I kind of hoped that this wire would be enough to hold it in place, but the whole gate slides down. So I'm going to try and find something else. It's the hottest day of the year, or at least the last few days have been the hottest. It's nice working up here. There's a little bit of shade, but we'll go back down. Caravan looking really nice. Mount Gabriel in the background looking nice. Garden looking nice. Gnat and midge infestation through the roof. If you're out at about sunset or even just evening time, there'll be 20,000 gnats above your head. Right. Let's see what I find. Into the barn of wonder. What goodies can we find in here? Oh, they could work actually. Small U-bolts. Actually, I'll be quicker without you. Bye-bye. Okay, suffice to say, we won't be using that angle arm. Where is it actually? We won't be using this U-bolt because it just broke my Amazon, uh, well, to be fair, it's a pipe bender. So, <clears throat> that won't be done. However, oh my God. one of the joys of working in a barn, in a farm, is that there's loads of bits, loads of gates here. Um, so, there's actually loads of fixings. And I'm thinking this fixing might work, but that ain't gonna I need spanner. Shit. Okay. Let me leave you off. I'll take you back. I'll back up once I've this fixing off and we're at the other gate. So, yep. Managed to get in the end. That's a little attachment I took from the barn. Just bolt it at the back, tighten it up, and uh, screw in the side to make sure it doesn't twist. It's in jail. So, kind of all holds together pretty good, but it's quite a heavy gate. I need something to knock it here, otherwise, it will swing off the post. That's worth remembering. Right, next. Put a drill in this side. Put the drill in here. Let's get a hole. So, this is just a temporary measure, as I say. At some point, maybe in a year or so, we're going to do a nicer gate um, when we start to use this. But at the moment, it's just to keep this little one from visiting her neighbors. Isn't that right, Rooney? Up, up. Yep. Drill. Welcome back. We got the gate put in um, right where I left off. We started to work on the second gate right here. We're going to try and take this off and push it forward to the top of the drive it'll connect to the other gate and it'll just be a little bit easier to keep the dog in however this is a pretty old boat I got the heat gun um, well I'm kind of running low on power for its extension cables I have four, but they're all used, so I'm going to try WD-40, 
see if I can shift it. If not, uh, look for another cable. Let's see how it goes. So, success. The gate came off with a bit of WD-50 and a fair whack of heat. There's the bolt. There's the fitting. Let's go. Actually, Rooney's saying, just as you can hear a bit of noise, we really maybe need a second GoPro because Claire does stuff as well, it's not just me. Here you can see her. Mulching. Claire! Claire! I guess it's too loud. Okay. Back to my project. Still a glorious day. I bought a tractor a lot more so I wouldn't have to walk so much. And I usually use it for heavy stuff. There's a little trailer on the back. But I can't justify it with the smallies. So, I walk a lot. All right, let's try on time-lapse as we finish off. So, Sunday afternoon, slow start to the morning. I had to service the lawnmower, fix the belt, so I can cut the grass later. Today, or this evening, I'm starting on my final gate. I want to move this gate. Where are we? I want to move this gate around about there. Right here, there's a little opening there which the dog can get out so I want to put the gate on the other side of that opening here and then fence down to the main road and hopefully that will be the entire place done but this is 
a pretty big and heavy gate, about four and a half meters. So this will be the most difficult. So let's see how we get on. Time lapse. Right. It took a bit longer than I thought, but then when I saw the problem, it took a lot shorter than I thought. Um, I couldn't get this post out, but actually, although the SD card went full so you didn't see it, I managed to use the reciprocating saw to cut it off. So this post is a little bit shorter, but should be fine. I didn't put um, concrete in. I might do that eventually. Um, I'll see how it holds up. What I did do is build a loose stone wall and we're kind of wedge shaped um, rocks. The idea of that is it's meant to push out, it's meant to force out on the steel. And then used some pretty thick gauge wire Tied the two ends together, the loop there, and you use one of these, what's it called? Um, oh, I can't remember what this is. Adjustable wrench or something. But it's a really good shape that then you can start to bend it and tighten it. So you just tighten this, the wire, makes the pole pull towards the tree the rocks make the pole push out so ideally it's meant to be kept in perfect tension and the weight of the gate 
will be counterbalanced by either of these. And that's the theory. Um, looking at that gate now, the, where it used to be, I can see where the stone wall is. A bit of a groove has been cut out, so I'm facing that problem now. It's a very large gate and it is resting on the bank there. So I am going to have to get a pickaxe and take it away a little bit. Right, let's go. Things didn't go to plan. It's a bit hot and sweaty. Anyway. That was the gadget I was using to attach the gate. When I took it off earlier, when I took it off earlier, there was a bolt, an old bolt that had been bent through so I couldn't remove it so I hoped I'd be able to reuse it but as I was tightening it it went not bolt so the quest to find a new bolt how shall we do all right I think I'm sorted I went into my box of bolts Found something that would work. Also this time, gonna use some DeWalt power. Instead of manual labor, my hands are going to ache in the morning. They are going to be so stiff and sore. Oh well. Not gonna lie, I'm losing patience a little bit with this gate project, this last gate. Um, I'm not going to have... Oh shit, look at you cracked. Glad I have a screen protector. Anyway, I'm not gonna get this wall complete. I got it started, that's okay. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use as a to close this off here. Maybe a fence post with a nail drilled in it. Or a hole, sorry, drilled in it. Or maybe just some stones. This looks pretty good here. That's a very large 
dog sized hole so that will need to be raised a little bit and get some stone straw in there the rest should be okay I have a stretch goal of cutting the grass tonight because I haven't cut it in two weeks so lawnmower has been broken let's see how we go right let's get a time lapse <laughs> 